In the world beyond New York, he's Donald Trump, self-made billionaire. But in Brooklyn, he's still Fred Trump's son. And in Brooklyn, they remember it was Fred Trump who built the family fortune. Fred Trump would be here most every day, and he have his sons here. And he was teaching them the business from the ground up. And Donald was one of my best customers. He'd have a hot dog most every day. A few occasions, he would say to me that uh, uh, this must be a, a good business. And I'd say, I, I, it's a good business. I'm making a living, but I think yours is a little better. When Fred Trump started out, he built wood shingle houses. During World War II, he constructed homes for the military. When the war ended, using his political connections and little of his own money, he turned his attention to giant developments in New York's outer boroughs. Today, he still owns them. It was decent, but never good, the service. And the, the, the pat answer they give you here at maintenance is, this is not Manhattan. You get Brooklyn service here, whatever that means. I have no idea what that means, but, but walls have to fall down before you get any kind of service here. Yeah. I'm just fortunate not to be a senior citizen here. What happens? That's where they get absolutely no, no service at all. Nothing. Because if they move out from their $150 a month apartment, the rent will go up to six, seven hundred. But they're they're afraid. See senior citizens, they're, they're in a, between a rock and a hard place. They're afraid to complain. Fred Trump taught his son how to be tough. And from childhood on, Donald had his own builder's vision. He used to build the most beautiful um, buildings with uh, building equipment, everything. He was great, even when he was a little guy. Donald was one of five children. And while he was adored at home, he was a behavior problem at school. I was sent to a military academy because I was really a problem. I was a, a very difficult guy for my parents. Then at Fordham and the Wharton School of Business, he missed the turbulent 60s. In 1969, when, when uh, most other people in their early 20s who uh, uh, were from upper middle class backgrounds at Ivy League colleges were marching and, and uh, uh, storming the gates, Donald Trump was re reading FHA foreclosure notices in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, looking for houses that he could take over and rebuild. Donald Trump had learned that for many real estate developers, lawsuits are just part of the cost of doing business. Fred Trump was charged twice with making windfall profits on government-financed Brooklyn developments. After the completion of Trump Village, he was forced to return $1.2 million in overestimates. But not before he built a private shopping center on his property. There were more fortunes to be made in Brooklyn, but Brooklyn was comfortable, Brooklyn was boring. And most of all, Brooklyn was his father's turf. One way to think about Donald Trump is uh, John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. Uh, he's the guy from Ocean Parkway in his mind, though he grew up with a father who had a lot of money. He grew up in a very middle class way in, in his own mind, and certainly crossing the bridge was a huge thing for him to do and something his father never wanted to do. New York was facing bankruptcy when Donald Trump crossed the bridge. To some, it looked like twilight for the city. But what Donald Trump saw was a bright new dawn. <laughs> 